Feminine hygiene needs to be discussed more amongst young girls. Ladies, let's talk about vaginal health for women. A lot of the time we see younger girls that we know and all that they stink, they don't know how to take care of themselves and all that. And this is mm. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. This video we are talking about feminine hygiene and younger girls that don't know how to take care of themselves. So this video is, is a video posted by a content creator that was talking about how women, especially younger girls that don't know how to take care of themselves, that transit into them being a grown woman and they don't know how to take care of themselves and they don't smell good, they stink and all that. And I feel like this is a very important conversation to have as people because yes, we all know we'll be young girls and there are a lot of mothers that neglected their daughters that didn't teach their daughters certain um hygiene and all that and even some of the hygiene that were taught were not taught properly like i personally i used to use pad during my period but now i don't even use pad i use menstrual cup which is that's a different conversation so i really find that this conversation is very important let's go hear what she has to say and let me know if you agree or not okay so let's go check out our video and then we'll come back and talk more feminine hygiene needs to be discussed more amongst young girls I work with teenage girls and unfortunately a lot of them have odors, have, you know, don't have the best smell. And I think having that conversation is very uncomfortable, number one. And number two, knowing that a lot of information is like, oh my God, I never knew that. Like they were never taught that or never talking about this stuff. And what I realized, especially in the black community amongst black mothers and daughters, a lot of black mothers either don't know how to have a conversation are too afraid to have the conversation, um, don't know enough information to have the conversation. They were not taught themselves. Mm -hmm. So it becomes this thing where like when when young girls are growing up just thinking about just feminine hygiene, like not having anything to do with sex. In the black community, for some reason, I believe black mothers believe if we talk about that stuff, it's going to lead to sex. And that's not the case. There are girls out here who are have odors, who are not wiping themselves properly, washing themselves mm -hmm. properly, just taking care of their bodies. And then they're out here being sexually active at the same time. And that combination is not good at all. Mm -hmm. So I think it's so important that we have to be comfortable with our children to have these conversations even before they hit puberty. To let them know about their bodies. Don't be afraid to talk to your daughters. Like, find out the information if you don't know. But we, we have to do better for our girls. Please go down in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think about this amazing conversation that this sister has brought up. And if you have your own feminine hygiene that you want to share to younger girls watching that will come across this video, go down in the comment section and share your own personal hygiene, which I am going to share because I have a lot, because I've learned, I have to learn. I've learned so much growing up eventually because some were not taught by me. Some, I found out that that was not even the right way, the way I was taught and a whole lot of stuff so please go down and share your own thought but this video has gotten a lot of people to have that conversation and share some of their tips and all that which i'm so here for i want to know you so go down in the comment section and do that but before we get into this video if you have not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for smash the subscribe button okay and click the notification bell because we post video every single day so let's go check out people's thoughts and respond to this conversation and then we'll come back and talk more feminine hygiene needs to be discussed more amongst young girls okay but we also need to talk about how most of the hygiene tips that people give out are shit especially if you have pcos before you all scroll away uh stop using dove dove will have you out here smelling like a french onion now before you hop in my comments and you're like i use dove and i smell fine i know that there's a literacy crisis so um i'll remind you that not everybody's body is the same okay uh, especially if you have three times the testosterone as I did before I was diagnosed with PCOS, if you had a period for eight months straight because the doctors just said you were fat, then it turned out to be cervical polyps and you had to get surgery. But anyway, the hygiene tips people give out are... I have 
have a video on this playlist that tells you how to make sure that you never smell if you follow the steps correctly and these work for me okay and i'm a person who has severe hormonal imbalances or at least i did and then i started healing myself but yeah dove does not work it's a beauty bar loom and all of those uh aluminum free sh it's i'm sorry honey if you have hormonal issues it's not going to work for you i have perfected my routine over the last two years okay it took two years of trial and error and the best hygiene routines are a combination of clarifying antibacterial products modern day uh, hygiene technology and herbs good old ancestor herbs i have endless endless videos on this on this playlist and also on my herb talk playlist but yeah y'all give out shitty hygiene advice not taking consideration hormonal imbalances and this is how we have this problem feminine hygiene needs to be discussed more amongst young girls i will what this woman is saying is so true please go back and uh watch her video so I remember I was about, what, 12 years old when I first got my period and everything. And um, my mother was the type of mother who would like, oh, go do this. Go to, you know, she kind of would fan you away, whatever, because she was really like self-absorbed or whatever. So I remember I got my period as well. I went to her. I said, Ma, Ma, you know, I got my period or whatever. And she was like, what? Um I can't believe this. You're 12 years old. So now, backstory, my mother got her period when she was 16, I think. Less chemicals and hormones in the food back then. So, yeah. So I told her, Mom, I got my period. So she was just like, oh, boy, now I got to go get you pads and stuff like that. So she gave me, like, one of hers, whatever. I was just like, okay. So she said, I got to get a new box tomorrow. So the next day, she went to the store. And, um, I, you know, I came in the room, I was like, oh, you know, the, the pads or whatever. And she was, she just threw a big box of pads at me. Now this was what in the eighties. So I just, it was like, they were big and bulky. It was not like the nice sleek thin pads that we have now. Thank God. So I went to the bathroom, I'm 12 years old and I'm putting the pad on the wrong way. I was putting the pad where the adhesive, the stickiness, the glue that's supposed to go in your underwear part. I was putting it on the vagina part. Yeah. Yep. So for a whole year, y'all, I was putting the pad on myself the wrong way. So every single time I had to change it, it was ripping, ripping, whatever little tiny little hairs I would have had at 12. I kept ripping it off and I was like, oh, so when my friends would be like, oh, you know, I got my period. I'm like, it's painful, isn't it? They're like, oh, yeah, the cramps. And I'm like, well, no, not just the cramps, the, the pad thing. When you rip it off every time it hurts. And then they all looked at me like, what do you mean? So I had to explain to them that I didn't know, like, you know, I was like, isn't that how you put a pad on? I, like, I don't know. And they're like, you're doing it the wrong way. And I was like, I am. And then they just like shook their head. So I went back. I didn't really believe them. I went back and I read the box for myself. And I saw that you're supposed to put it, the actual pad, the right way. The sticky part is supposed to be on the underwear and not on your JJ. Yeah, that. And it was so sad because I have I had a mother who was so self-absorbed that she couldn't show me like, hey, this is the underwear. This is the pad. This is how you put it on there. When the pad gets filled, okay, you change it, this and that. Like nothing was explained to me, not how to clean myself, not how to wipe, nothing. And it's so, so unfortunate. So many girls grow up and not knowing how to take care of themselves. Even when things are wrong with their body, they don't have anybody to go to to say, you know, this is the issues that I'm having. So this is a really important conversation for women to have with young girls. And if you, anybody watching older women, know a young girl that don't have a mother or maybe the relationship is not that tight, whatever, you can mentor her or, you know, just have a good conversation about hygiene and feminine products because this stuff is really, really important. I wish I had that. I had tons of aunts and everything, but I think that they assume that, you know, my mother was teaching me the right way, but she wasn't. So for a full year, I was using a pad the wrong way. It's pretty sad. Feminine hygiene needs to be discussed more amongst young girls. I Everything in that video that she has is absolutely true. And I'm going to tell y'all why based on my experience. 
when I was around 10 or 11, my mom was having some issues where she had to go away for a while. And I was pretty much kind of left on my own before my grandmother stepped in to help me out with like feminine hygiene and such. It's honestly kind of sad, but it has to be noted. Um, just hold on. When my mom went away, she didn't, I don't know why it's so hard for me to talk about, but, um, when my mom went away, she was really sick. Um, she was having some issues and my mother never really knew how to tell me how to wash certain parts, how to lather soap, and how to add lotions. And at 10, you would think that, you know, common knowledge. But in that time, my mom was not being a mom. My dad was away. He was working out of state. So it was really hard to get anybody's attention when their attention wasn't focused on their child's. So when my grandmother, I mean, when my mom went away, my grandmother came and stepped in. And I'll never forget this. And sometimes we talk about it to this day. When she came, and she had came with an expectancy of taking care of me full time. That meant doing laundry for me. That meant taking me to school, helping me with my homework, fixing me dinners. That meant the whole nine yards of taking care of another of, of a child. But one of the things she told me that devastated her was that when she looked into a shower and she didn't find body wash, but she found lotion trying to be used as body wash by me because I didn't know any better. I'm really sorry. I don't know why I'm getting so sad about this. But when you don't teach your children and your daughters especially about hygiene, they grow up almost clueless. And others see that and they're like, why are they, you know, what's going on? Thankfully, I had my grandmother to tell me, but those conversations were hard. I could tell they were hard for her. I could tell they were hard for me because I had never had anybody tell me that I needed to go in between my parts and wash, go thoroughly in my toes and wash. I remember my grandma specifically telling me, you need to take a rag, a rag, an actual rag, like a wash rag, a washcloth, put some soap on it. And make sure that you're lathering up your elbows, your shoulders, the back of your neck, your ears. I mean, she was just so thorough with it. Had I not had my grandmother to tell me that, I honestly wouldn't know how to... I can honestly say that's, that's the foundation that started with me being able to finally have some feminine hygiene for myself. To this day, she still reiterates the same thing. So everything that this young lady is saying in her video is 1000% spot on because, you know, she works with girls, with young ladies who are having issues like that because the foundations are not set. Now, as a person who didn't know that, and I have a son, not a daughter, not yet, but to my son, he never has to worry about any of that the way that I had to. But it's really important to reiterate feminine hygiene and hygiene in general to your children, to your daughters, to your sons, to your granddaughters, if they don't know your great granddaughters, nieces and your nephews. So that way you can set the foundation for them to be successful in the future. That's my take on it. There are girls out here who are have odors, who are not wiping themselves properly, washing. I was her. I was one of those girls that never really learned how to properly take care of myself. And I didn't even realize, like I always felt like something was different for me in comparison to the other girls. Like I remember one time in fifth grade, my teacher came up to me and she was like, do you wash your clothes? Like, do you do your own laundry? And I was like, yeah, I do, why? She was like, do you hand wash your clothes or do you put them like in a washing machine? I was like, I hand wash my clothes. She was like, how often are you washing your clothes that you're wearing to school? And I told her, like, you know, basically once a week, I would hand wash all of my clothes I would wear to school. And I remember the look on, on her face like, okay. So then, like, the next day I came to school and my teacher had, like, a bunch of clothes for me. And she told me anytime I needed um, my clothes to be clean, she told me every Friday to bring 
my dirty clothes to her. She would wash my clothes over a weekend. And then Monday when I came back to school, she would give me a new set of clothes. So that way I always had clean clothes and I didn't have to hand wash my clothes. When I joined the Navy, I noticed that I kept getting um, BV. And I couldn't figure out why. For a long time, I just thought like, oh, maybe it's because of the ship's water or whatever. And so one day I'm in a Facebook group <laughs> and these girls are going back and forth with each other. And this girl says, that's why you wipe, what'd she say? That's why you wipe back to front. And I remember reading it like, that's so weird. That's like a weird um, insult to say to somebody. But she was like, that's why you wipe back to front. And I was like, that's so weird. So I commented and I said, what's wrong with wiping back to front? And she was like, you're kidding. Like she didn't take me seriously. And I was like, no, I'm I'm serious. What's, what's wrong with that? And that day, that entire Facebook group, all like they went live with me and they taught me everything about being a woman. They taught me about personal hygiene. They taught me about taking care of my hair. They taught me about keeping up with my looks and taking care of myself. They literally taught me everything that I know to this day. Fast forward to 2018, right? At this point in time, I'm getting into makeup. I'm starting to realize that, like, dang, I want to I wanna beat my face. I want to know, you know, I want to look cute. I want to pop out. I want to be able to have a beat. And I remember on YouTube, I searched makeup for black women. And when I did that, Jackie Ina popped up. And let me tell y'all, I'm always staying behind Jackie because... There's a group of us out here who she literally raised and she don't even know she did it. You know what I'm saying? I stumbled upon Jackie Ina's page and Jackie taught me everything I know about makeup. Everything that I know about makeup, everything about the way I put on my makeup. I learned all of it from watching Jackie Ina. Like, I remember when she used to be in her videos, like when she used to come on, she used to be like, Jackie, 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 Jackie. Like, I remember all of that. Like, that is my girl. I remember I still have my Anna, when she did her collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hill, I still have my palette and I don't use it because, you know, she doesn't do makeup anymore. And I love that palette. So, even though I want to use it, I don't use it because it's a collector's item for me. But watching Jackie Einer, her just having conversations about womanhood and taking care of yourself and making sure you keep up with your upkeep and her going to do like her spy days. And I saw Jackie Einer go and get a facial. I went and got a facial. I went and got a facial. I got into skincare. I got into taking care of myself. So... I say all of that to say is that sometimes we got to give women grace because we assume that everybody has the same upbringing as us. Everybody has the same parental figures in their lives as us. And we all of us don't have that. All of us don't have a group of women that have taken them under their wing and that are teaching them how to navigate being a woman. This is why I get so mad at those people who do those hot takes about women dating and stuff like that, because I don't know about y'all. Nobody talks to me about dating. Nobody talks to me about anything about respecting myself or, you know, having pride, being so lucky for me on date. Nobody ever had a conversation like that with me. You know what I'm saying? I literally figure stuff out through trial and error most of my life. And nobody has ever really, you know, come to me and really sat me down like, hey, let me put you on game. Let me teach you little sis. And I don't expect anybody to do that. That's not anybody's job. But I share all of that to say, sometimes you guys have to give people grace. Just because a person is 30 years old doesn't mean they're 30 years old. Doesn't mean they know a lot of things. And like, thank God for the internet and um, the access that we have to like, TikTok and stuff like that. But again, if you don't know that what you're doing and how you're taking care of yourself is wrong, you're not going to sit there and go search that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to see anything wrong with it. It comes from being around women that'll help you. And to further my point, I've been in the Navy nine years and I've come across a lot of girls who do not know how to take care of themselves. And that just makes me thankful that I went through my little situation that I went through because I was able to be what I didn't have to those girls. Like I was able to put them on game. I was able to talk to them about, hey, take care of yourself, you know, 
put some effort into how you look, into how you show up places. Like, take care of yourself. Put yourself first. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, speak life into speak life into these girls the way that I wish somebody has spoken to me. But I'm so happy this creator even brought up this topic because a lot of people don't realize that many of us are learning how to be a, a woman in our late 20s, early 30s. And I think that's why your 30 your 30 years are so are are so good because you by the time you get to 30 you got it figured out you know what i'm saying you have an understanding at least i would like to think that i don't know but yeah i just wanted to share that look i even shampooed my hair look like jackie <laughs> please go down in the comment section and share your own thoughts on this conversation down in the comment section i'd love to know your own uh, feminine hygiene for women share your own thoughts share your own tips love to know but please keep it respectful as always here on this channel we're allowed to disagree but do it in a respectful way and there's nothing to be embarrassed here don't be don't be embarrassed like mm -mm. because i feel like there's a lot of young girls and even some women that don't know how to take care of themselves and that's because they were not taught or they were taught the wrong way i'm going to give you guys a lot of some of my own personal tips because i would say like when it comes to feminine hygiene or some, something that i've been obsessed about since i was a young girl and i'm still learning even till now, like, I'm still, like, mm, 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 mm. even though, yes, I'm, like, I'm good, but I always want to know more. I'm always doing research on this. So I'm going to share some of my thoughts. This is something that I have identified as a young child. This is what led me to really put so much emphasis on my uh, feminine hygiene and all that. That's because if you know in Nigeria, yeah, as a child, they take you to go make your hair at the market and all that. And sometimes my mom makes my hair, but sometimes somebody else will make your hair and they will sit you down and then i don't know how to explain it <laughs> i'll look for a picture and put it they will sit the woman will sit like where i'm sitting and then the child will be sitting on the ground so literally you as the child your head is literally in between the woman's vagina while she makes your head and with that i was smelling all sorts of foul things that i did not understand like i did not understand why is that place smelling why are you smelling so even as a young girl growing up a young child growing up i always like i was that girl that i would go out i'm always smelling like and if i smell in town like yeah i don't want to smell like those women ever because there's that things stinks there was and there was a lot of women that smells that way so i knew that there was something that was off wrong there that and i remember i asked my mother is that place supposed to be my mom like no i'm like okay and i see my parents first my mom was there so that was the mom show me how to use the pad and all that and even in school they taught us how to use a pad i don't use pad anymore which i'm going to get to a lot of people were taught things and taught things at that time what was the thing but I, that's why i feel like you always have to do your research you have to always have to learn and learn a lot of things and then growing up i was taught my mom like when you pee you wipe with tissue and you dispose and all that i talked about this on the live we did um some time ago about personal hygiene and all that so you are meant to use tissue to wipe after you pee and just wipe and all that fun fact let me tell you my mom never taught me not to wipe from back to front the person that told me that was actually a doctor because I think I was just naturally paranoid about what goes on there as a child. So if I smell any funny thing, I'm off to the doctor and all that. And I have COS, irregular menstrual flow and all that. So any off thing there, I'm always off to the doctor. I'm prone to infection. If I use a toilet that isn't like the slightest dirt on it, like I'm obsessed the way my toilet bathroom is because of that part. Like I'm always cleaning it. It has to be like... If I can, I will not use a toilet with anybody. That's just it. Like, I don't use the same toilet with my husband. That's how psycho I am here when it comes to my vaginal. So, when it comes to wiping from back to front, I just feel like, I don't know. I remember it was a doctor. I went there and I was like, oh, there's something. I just was like, you have an infection. How do you clean your butt? And I showed him, I was like, no, this is how you do it. And I was like, ah. Oh. And I was that child that I didn't like using water to wash my butt. I'd rather use a tissue. And I didn't know I was moving things around using the tissue. Oh. Anyway, and he told me, like, no, you wipe from 
front to back you don't do the other way if you do it the other way you're likely to have an infection and that stuck in my head my mom did not teach me that nobody i know like it was my doctor and another tip i'm going to give for younger and i feel like a lot of young girls is that if you're like an auntie an older woman and you know your vaginal health is very good and you know you, your feminine hygiene not just your vaginal your feminine hygiene even the way you smell your armpits and all that there's a lot of younger girls that are smelling and i do agree with the original creator a lot of younger girls are smelling like they have body odor the stench and all that and i would say as a young girl i used to believe because i was that child that i remember when i was in high school i used to wear my school uniform because we had the school uniform we wear to school i used to wear my school uniform for like three days because i have two pair so i'll wear three days and then two days or two days three days and i didn't realize that i was smelling sweats because the sweat i've used to run around just by the white because it's the white and blue i remember my uniform very just by the white was not smelling and that was when my mom has left me to my tent to start taking care of myself and like wash doing my laundry myself just that the white is not stained like it's not dirty i wear it the next day i was in gs3 or ss1 when i realized that now you have to be watching it every single day because you're smelling of sweat because i knew i was smell like that smell that smell that smell that i started watching every single day so there's a lot of things that younger girls should be taught if you have them in your household in your street and you notice some that call them it may feel embarrassing at the time but they will thank you later my nieces and nephew my niece in law and my nephews in law they all are my niece and nephew all of them they all know that auntie riri <laughs> well like I i'm going to check you you're going to hey hey so that's it and then one thing one advice i'll give any woman that you know, one thing that i know i was taught wrong and i did it for the longest time was using tissue to wipe like i was saying but try this like try it and this changed my hmm, for the longest time is i always i always use water to wash like one what i would do initially before i would take tissue i wipe my butt when i okay i wipe my butt and all that but i'll after doing that i know it i feel like it's clean i'll also go ahead with water and watch everywhere both sides everywhere very well but one thing that water just helps to clean everything it's really at the time like you don't like touching your mistakenly touching your wash with water after you've used your tissue wash with water rinse it like wash with water like you're in the shower like you're washing wash with water that's like i, I was that person that my like i said my vaginal health is very sensitive so i'm always very careful even when it came to wearing underwear there was a time i was wearing disposable underwear because uh-uh your girl was not ready that helped a lot then another thing that i'll say as a lady if you know you usually have uti and all that i'm going to leave a picture of the probiotics very 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 effective you can get it on amazon i'll try and look for the link on amazon try and link down in the description box amazing helped my oh lord helped then drink a lot of water don't wear tight pants sometimes some people feel like don't always wear people feel like they have to wear pants always no no it's a wrong myth when i'm home i don't i don't if i'm going out okay i mean i come back that's the first thing i take off if i'm in my comfort of my room i take off everything i allow breeze to blow that's like wash your hair tell them wash your ampe like make sure you scrub there very well some girls don't they just shower and it's out there like do it i think i'm just going to do a self hygiene care and all that video eventually definitely but yeah these are some of the things that have helped me and yeah if you have some tips go ahead and share your thoughts but yeah i'm just going to stop here because i know i can go on for this and talk about feminine hygiene and all that i can go on for days and i'm one of those people that i get that compliment that i smell good even down there mm -hmm. like <laughs> anyway guys please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section but please keep it respectful as always share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here we have 
banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl yeah okay with the house said guys subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video to see